that prides itself on Chers being one of the homes of football and what a sight it provides. Paris Saint-Germain, Atalanta Bergam. I'm John Champion and providing match analysis throughout the game, Jim Beglin. Yeah, thanks, John. What a brilliant atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. I mean, both sets of players must be really looking forward to this, as we are. So will this be a day of romance and giant killing or an easy day for the favourites? Well on the face of it we would appear to have a high calibre meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance skillfully hit Zaya Emery. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Hernandez. Surely he strikes it and he gets it away. They get it away. A volley. Not on this occasion. Well, there wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot. It was worth a try from there. it over the top gets it away he hits it well when it becomes that speculative I think it requires something from the very top drawer and he had to think a little bit more about that in the end he's just opted for raw power Dembele. Vamos. Made good contact but lacked accuracy. And that's a really instinctive stop too. Great reflexes to make it happen. I thought he showed class there. Is it this time? <laughs> Wins it back. There's the whistle and it's half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Neither side has managed the goal. It's nil-nil. Already up and running for the second half. Paris Saint-Germain clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve.
Zaya Emery. He couldn't get it cleanly and it's a foul. Atalanta are playing with a pleasing width here. Yeah, they're looking to create space in and around that D by, by stretching the defence. Look out for a, a late arrival or two for midfield. The number of for this match, 80,113. Switched right across. And the ball changes hands again. And we are still awaiting a breakthrough here. He's caught him there. Changement. The keeper had to be at his best there. Oh, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Vera. And he'll drive it here. <laughs> Forward it goes. Dembele. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his marker. And the assistant referee has his flag up for offside. Paris Saint-Germain showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Zaniolo. Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Il y aura deux minutes de temps additionnel. Zappa Costa. Plays it to his right. Hernandez. There's the whistle. The game's finished. After that performance, the defenders on both sides can deservedly pat themselves on the back. They were absolutely rock-like at the back. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we...